Hello! Quest here, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness. I left the mouse on the screen. Now you know I'm emulating. <laughs> okay, according to Lapras, the old ruins lie beyond this dungeon, so we should look for the Rainbow Stone ship there to take us to Temporal Tower. Good plot summary! Or at least summary of what we're doing here. Oh no, it's Hale. More annoying than dangerous, because you regenerate about as much as you lose the hail. I guess also, of course, my synthesis will only restore 10. Um... I think if you have max HP, hail shouldn't harm you. What a pointless leather effect on that floor. I didn't fight anything. Yeah. I guess maybe you get hungry faster if you're regenerating HP. Let's see, yeah, I don't have tackle anymore. I don't want to waste the body slam. Hmm. Right. Oh, I didn't want Tark to move that way, but that's fine. Yeah, got him. Swagger, huh? Thanks for the attack up. I guess I'm gonna end the floor anyway. But still silly. Since... Um... Your... Uh, stat changes last the whole floor, so Swagger can actually be really nice to have used on you. And also, setting up a sword stance can be nice, but I don't have sword stance. I have, I, I think, two sword stance TMs, but don't happen to have taught one to myself. I don't know if Chikorita can learn sword stance anyway. Man, imagine, like, Sword Stance linked to Body Slam, in that order. <laughs> Seems like that would be pretty potent. Alright, nice. The Quick Attack finished him off while I was cringing from being hit with a flinch move. Alright, what's this item over here? Huh. Well, yeah, I guess you can wake that up. Free experience. Eh? How long has that Magmortar been there? I don't remember noticing another enemy on the map there. Oh, nice! Paralysis. Why are you leaf blading Atropius? Twist band, don't need that. Manectric. It's confused. Alright, got him. Oh! Poison spikes. Yeah, I didn't have a way to move that would prevent it, my allies from walking on it. There is eventually an IQ effect. Or an IQ skill. Unclaimed items turn into Pokemon. I guess I'll never find out what that seed was. Anyway, um, IQ skill that prevents allies from walking over visible traps. Fuse is pretty good in this game. Natural Gift is not actually any better, though. Yeah, like, if something's confused and you're the only target near it, it only has a 1 in 8 chance of hitting you. It's basically a very extreme accuracy drop. Because you can't hit yourself in confusion. Lots of iron thorns. Oh, the swagger. I'll just throw stuff at it. Cause that's not affected by confusion. Yeah, using your items, pretty good. 
See, I have violent seeds, don't I? Three of them, yeah. Not worth it on normal floors. Those are things to actually save for bosses. Alright. Oh, hangsters. Old ruins. That was, what, a five floor dungeon? Or ten? I don't know. It, I feel like it's been shorter, or it was shorter than dungeons have been lately. Wow! This is incredible! Fantastic paintings and inscriptions. All the legendary stuff that's on box art. Pokemon, not stuff. Okay, this is the old ruins. Rainbow Stone Ship should be here. I guess, wait, the first one was Mew. We didn't have the... Well... Red and Blue didn't have legendaries on the box art. It didn't start until Gold Silver. But I think... I think there wasn't a painting with Ho and Lugia. Okay, the Temple of the Old Ruins. But anyway, we need a rainbow ship. This appears to be the top. Look here. Strange pattern is here, this small indentation. Wonder what it's for. What's that? What, what is it? There's a stone tablet. There seems to be something inscribed there. What are these strange runes? Some ins inscribed with unknown letters. It's written in an ancient language. Grovile has researched extensively though, so conveniently he can read it. Okay, give him a minute. He's got it. It appears this place itself. This is the Rainbow Stone Ship. This is it? That's right. There's an indentation there. Yeah, Tark, this is where it goes. Fit your relic fragment into the indentation. What? You want me to put it in there? Yeah, so we'll activate the stone ship, then we can ride it to Temporal Tower. That's what it said on the tablet. Really? Try it and see. Okay. Fit it into this hollow spot. Oh, but that's quite enough. It's the Sabalai! And Dusk Noir. How did you get here? Quite simple. Had Dialga warp us here directly. That's cheating. Uh, yeah, he knew we'd come here and didn't want to search for us. Unfortunately, we're coming back to the future with him. And they're gonna take us to the dimensional hole. Hey, it's the dimensional hole. Oh, into the dimensional hole with us. Psst. Yes? Okay. Okay, we display some resistance. Did you expect anything less? But he's got no choice now. He'll defeat us here and then take us to the future. The odds are overwhelmingly stacked against us. How much can re resistance can we serve up? They're gonna swarm us. Alright. So I've got one turn. Tark, use a violent seed. Okay, good, he did something ranged. Hmm. I think I need more violence here, actually. There's no weather effect, so I should be able to heal pretty effectively with my linked move. Curse! Tark was cursed. Let's see, and a ghost type applied that curse, so it's gonna be a damaging curse, right? Anyway. Let's start using Magical Leaf Synthesis on stuff. Keep ourselves topped up. Okay, yeah. I do have, what, three Revive Seeds, too? Something like that? I mean, look, he's immobilized. Alright, I should heal Tark with an Moran Berry. That immobilize doesn't matter at all. Mean luck was a waste of a turn. Heal ourselves and deal damage. Of course, Tark's probably just gonna like wreck it. No, oh, no, he's hitting Dusk Noir. Okay. Got him. Turns out having max stacks of attack up and special attack up is pretty good. Okay, he refuses to lose. 
Earth. So foolhardy, you dare challenge me for all the effort in the world with your puny power, power, you had no chance of winning. He's truly tough, but we can't give up, there's a way out. Okay, we've done admirably, but it's all over now. It's the end. Oh, the mouth on his stomach opened up. He's gonna do something. Gonna unleash a move? From that mouth? Wait a second, the mouth on his stomach? That's it! Somehow, this could work. What is it? What? Force your combined moves down his stomach? Is that possible? There's no time! It's our one shot! Let's go! <laughs> Got him! Whoa! We did it! Dusknor's down, we've finally beaten him. But it can't be. Uh, Lord Dusknor was defeated. I keep looking over at my camera because I don't have the light on in the room that I normally have on. And I'm like, shouldn't I be like enshrouded in darkness? But no, it looks fine. But then I keep doubting it'll look fine. Ah, oh, you have no luck for attracting reliable allies. Tark, go to the top of the temple, put the relic fragment in the hollow spot. I need to check if the stone ship actually works. Meanwhile, Kleiser and I will look at Dusknoir. If the stone ship works, we can go to Temporal Tower. Hope it activates. Don't move. Is this really what you want? If history has changed, we Pokemon of the future will disappear. What? If history has changed? Yes. It won't be just me. Both of you, Grovile and Kleiser alike. Since you come from a future that will cease to exist, you both will disappear too. Is that what you really want? If we change, history will disappear. Is he telling the truth? Grovile. It's true. If we change history, we will disappear. But that doesn't matter. If it means restoring time and bringing peace to the world, it's what I came to the past to do. This LB2, she helped us knowing she'll disappear if we succeed. Oh yeah, I recall when we were in the future. Okay, if you would be so kind as to prevent plant's paralysis, we'll finally be spared the agony of this world of darkness. I'll devote my whole life to achieve that end. Yep, when she said she'd devote her whole life, that's what she meant! Okay, and you came with that same resolve, you came from, from the future fully accepting what would happen to us, but the way you are now, you don't remember that resolve. I know this is coming as a great shock. We have no choice in the matter either way. If we don't act, time will be destroyed, the paralysis will begin. To bring peace, we have to disappear. Try to understand. Came into this world, knowing that if we succeeded, we would disappear, but if we don't act, the destruction of time can't be stopped means we have to do it. Okay, there's just one thing. One thing changed for us by coming to the world. It's true that we had the resolve to complete our mission. That was true when we first came here. But we had absolutely nothing to lose and nothing to go back to. Clyde, this changed for you when you became a Pokemon. You found a friend and partner in Tark. Tark looks up to you. If your partner found out you might disappear, I'm sure Tark would be crushed. He has a good spirit, but if the future is altered and you disappear, Tark will be left all alone. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Pretty sure it's not actually a problem. Because <laughs> there is a post-game. I think that happens in every mystery dungeon. That, it, like, the main character disappears, and then, like, a day or two later, it's like, yo, I'm back. Yep, it's that hollow spot. It's supposed to go there. It moved! Or at least it started glowing. What was that? Tark's done it. That noise. It has to be the sound of the rainbow stone ship activating. Ow. Okay, we'll never change history. And uh, Grovile gets wrecked. So you shielded Kleiser. That's taken a heavy toll on you. Very well, you're going down first. What are you doing? Okay, Dusknoir is being taken with Grovile back to the future. It's up to us now. Those are the time gears. Okay team, the Rainbow Stone ship's set to go. What's happening? Dark, this is it for me. I'm taking Dusknoir back to the future. Can never come back here again. Watch Kleiser's back. Promise me. Okay. Tark has to take Grovile's place, because we're the greatest of combinations. Okay, we're almost there. Quiet. 
Take care. Revile is lucky to know us, and the rest is in our hands. Sorry for the whole that test wire. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Rainbow Stone ship is getting louder. We've gotta go! Time gears. Tark had better gather them up. Okay, Grovile will wait for us in the future. We'll change it to a better wor world. One where Grovile can live happily, except for he's gonna disappear. <sighs> of course, maybe in the parallel timeline there will be another Grovile. Hey, the last thing Grovile said to you. Okay, the rest is in your hands. His last words, parting hurts. I understand that feeling. Grovile's partners with you for a long time. Must have hurt him terribly to leave you. That may be what he meant, but no, that isn't it. His last words, they weren't about me and Grovile. He meant me and Tark. Grovile said what he did because he knew I would have to leave Tark eventually. When history's changed, I'll disappear. This is our last adventure. Hey, we have to do this for Grovile's sake. Let's go to Temporal Tower. Final chapter, the last adventure. It's getting louder, it's about to move. Let's get on quick. <laughs> Very small ship. Very rainbowy though. Temporal Tower! Finally, we're on our way, we're going there. No idea why the flying lappers couldn't just carry us all the way here. I guess it's too high, you can't fly if the air is too thin or something. Except I bet the move fly still works. Except, wait, at least on your first time here for the plot, you can't possibly bring anything with fly. None of the starters learn fly, and you're limited to yourself and your trusted partner. What could that be? It's glowing red, let's hustle. Okay. This is the entrance to Temporal Tower, and the ground's shaking. Did it settle down? What was that tremor, anyway? It reminds me, Grovel once said something about this. He said the time started going out of control because the tower began collapsing. This is the tremor we just felt. Could be collapsing as we speak. We have to hurry. Uh, except I'm gonna do that next time. However, I think even if it ends up running long, I will do the whole tower in one episode. So, uh, next episode should be the finale. I'm thinking for now I will not be doing the post-game. Maybe just show the main character showing back up, and that'll be it. Maybe also show an evolution or something, but I'm not gonna, like, try to do all the post-game dungeons. But, uh, anyway, that's it for this part. See ya!